If you start seeing messages popping up like this to tell you that flights are running late, be aware that ignoring them means that the plane will take off when it's able to, but it's a very serious warning sign. The more of those you see and the more frequently that they turn up, the more you need to actually start paying attention to how your flights are getting delayed in the first place. There are many things that could be causing it and investigating it is something I'll talk about in a later episode, but right now I'm just going to let it slide and when I set up my next set of flights in the planner, I'll make a bit more point of spacing them out. One of the things that you can do to make planning out flights easier is to change the name of your aircraft stands. Now you can't do it from the flight planner and in a way that's a good thing because this doesn't tell me anything about where the stand is. If I click on the stand itself, I can just click in the name and type whatever I like. Now, you can obviously choose whatever pattern you'd like, but right at the moment I want to try and actually have a number and letter kind of pattern. So I'm treating this wing of the airport as gate A, and that'll be A1, A2, A3, and so on. So now that I've renamed them, it's very simple for me to see which stand is which and know that you know, I've put eight at the top, one at the bottom, and I did it that way around because that's where the passengers go to. So if you're having trouble with um, flights being delayed, the fact that it's the flight on gate A8 will tell me that the passengers are having to walk too far. And here's a perfect example. Gate A8 and Gate A7 are the ones that are running late right now. Let's have a look and see if we can identify what might be causing that. All of our passengers are present, it just looks like they're taking a really long time to board. So it's quite possible that having an extra boarding gate would be helpful. This could be a factor because I'm playing with 100% realistic um, passenger numbers, whereas the game normally starts, I think, with 50%. So I have more passengers who need to board than you might have. Okay, I have my first GA aircraft issue. I need to pause the game as soon as that happens because you only have a very limited time to respond to this in. Now, let's read it. Mayday, 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 GA flight N2602, weight class small, is experience a bird, experiencing a bird strike emergency, ha, huh, they do happen, and requires fire truck assistance. Good thing we have a fire truck service. Refusing or failing will incur a penalty and accepting it will uh, improve the rating of your airport. So we need to accept that and then assign that to a stand sometime in the next 30 minutes. So let's unpause the game and it should show up here and it hasn't yet. That's interesting. Okay, so the fire truck has already deployed. Maybe I misread that one. Let's have another look. You can go up to the notification section to get a bit of reading. So if we switch off all notifications and just switch on the emergencies, <laughs> it's not showing up. That's not very helpful. There's also this panel up here. Requires fire truck assistance. Okay, so you can see it's come in and it's on fire. I thought I would have to assign a stand for this one, but I don't appear to have to. Our fire truck's taking care of the fire. That's pretty cool, I haven't seen that happen before. <laughs> Let's zoom in.
Okay. Our fire has been put out, and I expect this plane will now head to the hangar. You can see the emergency hasn't actually disappeared yet, it isn't finished. There's only one out of three steps resolved so far. So, it's now heading up to the hangar. And it will disappear inside. Now you can't actually select the plane easily, you just sort of have to click around and hope you find it. Um, it will appear eventually. Uh, it now says it's condition 100% and I believe this will say... Nope, it hasn't progressed. So despite the fact it's saying 100%, there's obviously still work going on and you'll see there was a little green tick of the cash coming in there because they're paying us for the service of having a hangar. The condition is the hangar itself, not the aircraft. So if I select the aircraft, there's nothing here telling me what st uh, status it is or how repaired it is. But if I select the hangar, I can now see the aircraft. Um, repair in progress. Ah, there we go, 48%. So we'll let that tick up. this little switch here. We can switch between servicing general aviation and servicing commercial flights. The fact that we only have one hangar is probably okay on uh, easy mode, but if we were playing on a higher difficulty you would want at least two, one for general aviation and one for commercial. Because I'm on easy mode and I don't expect to have multiple incidents at the same time, I can switch this over as and when needed. need pushback it will just drive itself out you can see we've resolved two steps and it will now take off and that will be the completion of the incident okay we've had another bird strike emergency and this time it is actually showing up in our flight planner. So let's select that and place it. Confirm. Other, other than having to do that, it's very similar to the last one. Unlike the last bird strike, this one has four steps. It's finished being repaired, so it's landed, it's been put out, there's no fire anymore, it's been repaired, and there's two steps to go. So let's keep an eye and see what else happens.
It appears in this instance, pushback in air quotes was one of the steps. I'm not sure why one of them had three and one of them had four, but either way, it's very simple to take care of. As long as you've got a hanger and you accept the thing um, and give it somewhere to land, uh, you're good to go. You don't need to worry about the incident. <laughs>